Today you walk around and every single one of us has this disease. Every one of us has this disease. That yeah, look, you know, alhamdulillah, I'm not the best Muslim. And yeah, maybe my Quran has shortcomings. And yeah, maybe my salah is not this, that and the other. But it's alright. No, it's not alright, akhi. People think that, listen, you know what? If I don't want to pray, that's none of your business. It's between me and Allah. Have you ever heard this? That no one can judge me. Only God can judge me. Wow, big round of applause for this brother. Hey. Only God can judge me. Well, duh, yes, only God can judge you. But unfortunately, brother, I have news for you. Your shortcomings has an effect on me, has an effect on my wife, has an effect on my children, and has an effect on the rest of the ummah. So it's not up to me to allow you to do your wrong and to do your haram and not stand before you, right? And give you clear warning that what you're doing is wrong and batin. The Prophet of Allah in the Sahih Hadith, وَالَّذِي nafsi biyadi. The Prophet of Allah takes an oath by Allah. He says, you either enjoin that which is good and you forbid that which is wrong. This is a responsibility upon everyone. This is not the responsibility of Muhammad Hablus. It's not the responsibility of the Mashayikh. It's not the responsibility of the ulama. It's the responsibility of every person that has Iman and Tawheed in his heart to call to that which is good and forbid that which is wrong. Why, O Prophet of Allah? What if I don't want to do it? What if it's none of my business? What if I want to do my own thing? He says, you will do it. Or by Allah, Allah Azza wa Jal will send down his punishment upon you. You will raise your hands and make dua, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would not accept your prayers.